Because of weather delays, there was a lot of golf to be played on Thursday for some. After finally winning his round of 16 match in the morning, it took until the 18th hole for Matt Parziali to wrap up his quarterfinal match, beating Mark Turner one up. Then it was off to the semifinals against Jackson Lang. I was pretty tired today, but um, we've done this before, before for this tournament, so you kind of expected it. Parziali off to the fast start. Yeah, I know. I got off to a couple good starts in my last couple matches. Um, that always helps. Winning three, four, and five to go up three holes. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I felt good early and then uh, just kind of was melting away. <laughs> up by four, Parziali would lose the ninth and he was physically fading. In the other semifinal, Billy Walthouse, who eliminated Cody Busca two and one in the morning, up too early on Matt Cowgill, who had eliminated David Spitz two up in the morning. I lost two and three. He made two good birdies and I just, I had all pars in the front nine, nothing crazy. After dropping a hole, Walthouse another missed chance to go back up by two. And it was Cowgill's turn to thrive. I just squared it up, I think on 10 and yeah just just had confidence in my chipping and putting I knew that any mistake with the ball striking could be could be fixed coming from two down to go two up in the other semifinal Parziali was trying to hold off a back nine charge Cowgill would lose 16 to Walthouse and then Walthouse won 17 to even things coming to 18 both with birdie opportunities. We both had two good shots there on 18, and I thought one of us was going to make it, but uh, it took, took uh, the 19th to close it out. You guys are happy after 18th, like, hey, let's go play some more. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we, we're good friends, so we were happy to keep playing. So it was on to the 19th hole, Cowgill away. Yeah, I hit that as high as, high as I possibly could. He was, I hit that like, 18 feet above the hole and it just kept trickling down. And Walthouse par putt got away. I mean, I wish it ended, it would have ended a little differently. Uh, he's, that's tough, tough way to finish, but he's got tons of good golf in front of him. He would make the bogey saver, but Cowgill ends up winning it one up. And I, it was a little knee knocker, that three footer, but I was happy I just hit it firm and just kept it inside the hole. Billy battled, we both battled all the way through, took extra holes. And uh, yeah, he's the man. We both, we had a good time out there. Huge, I've never gone this far, even close to this far in match play. I, I'm super excited. I like where my game is right now. So we'll see who I'm facing, I don't know who. While in the match behind, Parziali was dormy on 17, but he lost 17 and then 18. The last nine holes, I, had, I felt like I had nothing. Um, just trying to piece it together. Uh, kind of screw up 17-18. So their match also went to a 19th hole. Back to play hole number one. Parziali just misses the bird that would have won it. I hit a good putt there, I thought it was in. But Lang was unable to make the short breaker, so Parziali also advanced in 19 holes, one up. I had nothing coming in, so um, that was a great match. I wish we both could play a little better. We were both struggling a little bit, but uh, Hate to win that way, but uh, I'll take it, you know. Pretty exhausted. How many holes today in it? I think uh, he just hit 47 and a half, so yeah. A battle of mats with Parziali against Cowgill for the state amateur title. I haven't been back, it's probably like 10 years, so um, good to be back, you know. Long day tomorrow, though. For a complete look at all your scores, make sure you visit mgalinks.org.